<laughs> well, if you followed along in the last video, you know, now that we ended up cutting out some brackets to weld on to this tail hinge, and that's what we're going to work on right now. We're going to weld everything up that we made to use on the tail hinge that is on the back of this truck. So we're going to get that welded. Then we'll move up front here. We'll raise the hoist up underneath the sills, get that welded, and then the hoist will be operational. Once we're able to do that, then we can start welding down these rubber pieces that are between the box and the truck frame. So we'll get to welding, and then we'll show you these different steps here along the way. And once we get that stuff, we've got mud flaps to put on. We've got to finish the wiring, hook that up to the truck, and then move on slowly from there to get this all uh, finished up. So, we'll get on it here. Well, if you followed along in the last video, you know, now that we ended up cutting out some brackets to weld on to this tail hinge, and that's what we're going to work on right now. We're going to weld everything up that we made to use on the tail hinge that is on the back of this truck. So we're going to get that welded. Then we'll move up front here. We'll raise the hoist up underneath the sills get that welded and then the hoist will be operational. Once we're able to do that, then we can start welding down these rubber pieces that are between the box and the truck frame. So we'll get to welding and then we'll show you these different steps here along the way. And once we get that stuff, we've got mud flaps to put on. We've got to finish the wiring, hook that up to the truck, and then move on slowly from there to get this uh, finished up. So, we'll get on it here.
Okay, so we have our tail hinge all welded into place. I ended up uh, drilling a couple holes in these tubes here to uh, put a grease circuit in. I jammed a quarter inch bolt in there just so that the threads wouldn't get bunged up with uh, any weld. We got a little quarter inch bolt right here. Everything's still kind of warm. So once that cools down, we'll get a grease circ in there. We've got to get some primer on that and we have to get some paint on there. We've got the truck running right now. All we're going to do is we're going to get the hoist to come up in the air up underneath the sill and then we can weld the upper mount of the hoist to the sill. We have mud flap brackets installed. We're going to put a front mud flap on and then of course the rear one and then we can work on welding those pieces of the metal T-rail that has the rubber in it to the bottom of the silage box. So Jared has been working on this truck 14. Uh, we had a exhaust manifold leak. Uh, what we actually found was the manifold was warped. We've been into this job a few times. And uh, what side is it? This hole right here. That's off the bench. And that's where it was leaking. So we had to get a new manifold for it. Got new gaskets going in there. And while he was working on this, he noticed this cab mount was broke. And this wire harness found its way underneath it. And some wires got crimped and cut. So he's got that fixed up. Andrew's been helping him, haven't you? And uh, the other work that they're doing to this is brakes. We got into that on the last video. We had a chatterbox here give us some some flack about a tire on the other side of the truck there that I was ignoring because I had the camera rolling out here and uh, we kind of explained that in the other video. But oh uh, yeah, there's a chunk out of that tire. Tire's got a lot of tread on it. Um, it's from being scuffed with the tire up in the air um, on ground. It, it probably will never bother. And you know what? If it does, it does. No big deal. So what we'll show you is what's going on over in this other building. They're doing uh, slack adjusters on this, S-cams, S-cam bushings, uh, brakes all the way around, and Jason's just waiting for some parts to get back here. So we're in the other part of the building here. We've got both semi-trailers in here. If you recall a while ago, we ended up putting fenders on this red diller. Uh, they cleaned up the whole bottom side and it's been painted. New fenders, so on and so forth. On the back end here, Sarge is working on replacing this tee box that uh, had gotten wore out and Jared welded it open so that manure could go out the swing boom however the uh, the little valve on the back here that allows you to be able to uh, run out the spread plate that wasn't operational anymore so that's all new going on to there the green dollar is in here and what we're doing to that is we're replacing the fender on the other side. We're putting one on there, just like what we have on the red diller. The uh, hangers got bent. It had a goofy fender like this on there. I think it actually had two of them on it, or you know, one on each side. I can't remember. I want to say it did. And we ended up moving the power unit from the back of the trailer up to this left corner just like this red one uh, originally this green trailer it's a it's a 2012 
and originally it had the power pack on the back of the uh, tanker here and we moved everything up front lengthened all the hoses so on and so forth just to get that out of the crap this one has a uh, top spread on it not a bottom uh, later on they updated things a little bit here it's got a different swing boom uh, piece up top there the diverter box is at the top on this green one it is not at the top on this one it's a little different you got the gasket on there Okay, what are those, the old ones? No, it came with extra ones. In came box. with extras. Wow. Wow. All right, so that's what we've got going on. We're putting some new plugs up front, and that truck is aired up by now. We should be able to bump this hoist up in the air. So we've got that raised up, but we've got a leak underneath there somewhere. It must be I don't have that hose tight. Oh, what do we got here? Well, that hose is mucho loose. So let's go ahead and get a wrench and tighten that up. Oh, we'll just tighten this guy up a little bit. That's basically all that needed. Oh, that didn't have to tighten up that much. I don't know, maybe that hose ain't quite right. But... So we'll go ahead and get this welded down here on each side and then we can raise this up, get these rubber pieces in there correctly and then start tack welding them down. our top hoist mount welded and then we tack welded our t-channel to the sill that holds the rubber now what we're going to do is we're going to set the prop rods we've got the box up at the desired height we'll go ahead and weld this little bracket onto the body then we've got to weld in a saddle 
so that it can be swung up out of the way. I find that it's easier to do this outside so that I can lift the box up high enough to be able to do this accurately. got our prop rods on we ended up pulling it outside and we raised the hoist up put the forklift underneath it got in on the inside of those t-rails where they're welded to the sill and welded them on the inside kept putting the box all the way up to we we're able to work all the way back through to get that welded uh, we need to prime the mud flat brackets and get paint on them and then we can wire the box uh, to the truck. Jared's been working on goofing around with this cab mount. He's got a new one here. This is the old one. This was all broke out at the bottom and then this was setting on top of the wire harness right there. So he's got a new bracket, got a new exhaust manifold here to go on and they've got these trailers done got the dot tape on the uh, fender i know somebody said oh boy you can go down through this with a go down through a two inch uh dot tape and cut it in half well yeah you can go ahead and do that or you can just buy the one inch stuff so they've got the dot tape on there they've got the switch box on it and the gate valve for the spread plate everything's all brand new uh, back here they ended up also putting an end on the swing boom a new end so this trailer here is completely done ready to haul out manure uh, this spring this green one's done as well they didn't have much to do to that they ended up putting a new fender on here uh, this bracket got bent up and pushed back Sarge straightened these brackets out put some paint on there and now uh, this is ready to go they both have the same uh, fender kits on them uh, right here right now 
new wire plug got put on uh, both trailers for the lights they seem to get corroded here quite a bit and uh, that's all on there so tomorrow we'll get after a few of these things uh, Sarah has gone after a bunch of parts here and she is back here now and they'll be able to get after this stuff right what are you guys thinking no. I don't know no, no. no? Mm -hmm. all right well we'll get after it tomorrow <laughs> <laughs>